Hopefully it's filming. Um, so, today we have a leg day with squats. Um, and it is an all-time PR day for me. So I have my heaviest squat I've ever done in my life uh, loading onto the bar today. Uh, hopefully it moves at about a 7.5, 8 RP. Um, I'm excited. But yeah, I've, I've been a bad YouTuber the last few days. I have, uh, I have not filmed... Um, I was supposed to film on yesterday, and I was supposed to film on Monday, but I uh, forgot my microphone on Monday, and then I went to the gym and it was too late, and then on Thursday, I forgot my mic while I was in the car, and I wasn't going to turn around, so I'm going to make it up. I'm going to film every single day this week, hopefully, because I haven't filmed like two days that I work out for this block yet at all, so... I'm filming every single day that I work out this week, hopefully, which should be uh, good. Um, so that should be good. So a lot of videos coming this week, so the talk's probably be a little bit shorter. But we can talk a little bit about today. Um, today I kind of changed up. You guys saw my first squat leg day, um, and it was in my other gym. So I changed up a little bit because I'm going to my, my competition gym, my powerlifting gym today. Um, uh, there's a little... Um, I'm going to my, my competition gym, which is in uh, farther away from me. It's actually 40 minutes away today, which is great. I love a 40-minute drive back and forth. It's just beautiful. Um, either way, um, so we had to change my accessories up a little bit because I can't do hip thrust there. I mean, I can, but it, I don't know how to set them up, and I don't have the hip abduction machine. So today I end up doing uh, GHRs, which are glute ham raises. So I, I think I have leg press, and then glute ham raises, and then I do like calves and abs because I can't do anything else pretty much. Like I kind of mess myself up in the way that I kind of mess up my accessories because I'm going to this gym instead. But to be honest, the other gym is just like the, the you know it's 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 like their kilo plates are terrible, the racks are awful, and the bars are pretty bad. So. It's, it was more beneficial to me. I asked, I was like, listen, I can do, I can go to the other gym, but I think it's more beneficial for me to work out at my gym, like my competition gym with the competition racks and the competition bars and kilo plates, like good kilo plates, because, you know, it's the, it's the closest I'm going to get to comp and it's my competition squat. So I'm doing that. I think it's worth it for the squat. Um, and I've just been using my cues that my coach has been giving me, and they've been really helping, so I'm not going to complain. My squat moved really well last week. Um, I went back to a little bit of a wider stance than I used to do, which is what my coach thinks is best, and so do I, because it just makes my range of motion less, and I don't lose any power or anything, so I don't really know why I wasn't doing it before, but whatever. And um, just keep the like my, my ribs to the horizon, my chest to the horizon, don't force your chest up. Don't arch your back. Just let everything be kind of natural. Center over my midfoot like crazy and just hope it's a good lift. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a rough one for me today because squatting is always exhausting and there's a lot of squat volume. I believe I have a single and then I have a five, a set of five, and then I have two back downs of five, I believe, or three back downs of five. I think it's five sets of squats today. I don't actually know. But you guys will see when I get there. Um, yeah. Uh, last time I was doing this, I was bleeding randomly. So that's good. I don't know why. But I was just, like, bleeding on my hand. I think I'm putting my wraps on. But hopefully that doesn't happen today because it's kind of annoyingly painful. Um, yeah, we had a long drive. So uh, let's drive 30 minutes to the gym. All right. This is second to last warm-up. To make this shit fly. The first thing I have my uh, knee sleeves on for, so put air straps on, knee sleeves on for the first time. Get this, one more up, and then PR. So, alright, let's get it.
Alright, one more warm. Felt good. Oh, good actually. Let's see what it'll look like. Solid. All time PR, so I'll take it. Seven and a half kilo, all time PR. Fifteen pound PR. Probably move like an eight and a half, but it's fine. It's a PR, so we'll take it. And we got 120 by five. Shouldn't be that bad. Got it. Let's go. Definitely forgot to put clips on, but yeah, that was easy. All right, we put clips on this time. <laughs> this time I forgot clips. Uh, this is all three sets of back nines for this, so three by five at 110 after the 120. So it's a lot of squatting today, but that's all I do. So. No bench or anything, so. All right, this is like a depth angle, hopefully. I'm gonna make sure everything's up. I should be. I'll make sure. All right. Let's go. Two more. Two more, two more. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, the under cover the All right, down squatting. All right, got four plates in the side for leg press here. This leg press is really weird, so this could be really light or really heavy. It depends. Um, we'll see, but I got eight super controlled, so let's, let's, let's get it. A plate to each side. All right, we have five plates to each side. So eight super control reps. Should be like one or two reps in reserve. So I was going to let me get something. No. Sure. All right. Come on. Can you go even deeper, probably? I'm sorry. We have glute ham raises. I'm going to eat my fruit loops. Alright, I ate my fruit loops and I got ham raises. Alright, 
preserve, preserve, but... I think I have to do 10. I didn't even count. No, no. Oh, two more. Alright, two more. I hate you so much. Let's go. Alright. One more. Oh. Right, last one. It's like the lower back just gets like instantly pumped. It sucks so bad. Oh, I don't like it. Sure. With calves and abs. Alright, we like to call this, uh, there's no calf machines here, so I make up this dish. And just make up a calf exercise. And it's extremely hard. But, hey, this is all it's off the top. So all I do is use the this machine, which is a belt squat. All the way back and just two calf raises. Okay, that was twenty three. All right, come on. <laughs> Burning. Oh. 
21. Oh my god. Now. Alright. I don't know. I like don't feel it. But. All right, I think I know where they're wrong. So, Sorry, I was moving my butt. You're supposed to like keep your butt still. Like you just moved your back. Your um, so. Let's see. All right, ass does not move. See if we have a change to the pump. Hopefully, we do or we don't, but we'll see. We, my shirt is very stuck. Three minute drive home. Beautiful. Um, yeah, it's annoying, but whatever. I guess it's traffic because that's 4 p.m. I'm gonna hit straight traffic on the highway. That's just so fun. Either way, we can talk about the session a little bit. I am gassed, I'm exhausted. Um, so first off, okay, hold on. First off, PR squat. We will take it. It didn't move as fast as I wanted it to, but it still moved pretty well, considering that was a seven and a half kilo PR. Um, it moved pretty good. I wanted to move it like a like a seven and a half eight. It probably moved at like an eight eight and a half, which is fine. That's what my goal today was eight, and he just gave me a number, so he just hit this. So either way, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's the most I've ever squatted. I don't even know what that is in pounds. Um. I'm going to imagine it was 310 what I did last week. It's a 17, seven and a half kilo jump. It's going to be a little bit more than 15 pounds. So should be about three, 
330, like 327 or something. So it's pretty hype, actually, because it's a PR. Um, I don't know how much I have left in me for next week, or ne sorry, next block. But we'll see. I mean, that's the whole point of a peak, and then I have my meat. So good baseline, though, because this is probably a good second attempt, I'd say, for now. I mean, I don't know how we're going to do it. It depends on my next week, I guess. This is probably, like, a good second attempt. Um, it felt pretty good. It definitely felt heavy. Like, not going to be wrong. It definitely felt heavy, but... Not bad at all. Also, next time I do this, like, heavyweight, I'll be in Orlando. I'll be back in my gym, at home, like, my home gym, where the meet is. So, I'm excited for that, too, because I'll be back on my racks where I can do my actual setup that I like, where I feel the weight in my back before I lift it off. Like, you see now, I'm, like, wiggling it to just trying to feel the weight a little bit. But when I'm actually on, like, a competition rack that's not nailed to the floor, um, I, like, like, to lean forward and let all the weight go onto my, like, left side of my back. So then I can put my right foot under and feel all of it, which is nice. Um, and also, I get the right rack height because in this gym, the rack heights are all weird. I don't know why, but I guess they have custom racks. So, like, I was squatting on 14, and I bench on, like, 13, whereas in my other gym, I squat on 13, and I bench on 11. Um... So not having the right rack height is kind of messed up just because during a meet, obviously, that matters a lot where the bar is. But I'll get back used to it again when I get to go to my home gym, which is nice. My home gym, my my school gym, which is now my my main gym. Um, And, yeah, solid session. The leg press went really well, actually. Um, I don't really get, like, a pump. Like, my posing is always weird. Also, my, the lightning is weird because I, like, crunched down. It did not look great. But either way. I don't really get pumps from leg day. Like, I don't know. I guess just because it's, it's very, like, my, my leg day is very, like, balanced. Like, today, I have, like, you know, it's supposed to be hip thrust and stuff like that. So, it's, like, supposed to be, like, quads. I obviously squatted a lot of ass, a lot of hips. So, like, it's kind of a balanced leg day. Um, so, I don't really get a pump, which is fine. I also can't really do much hamstrings because tomorrow I deadlift, and we didn't want to, obviously, we don't want my hamstrings to be any type of sore before I do a primary deadlift, so... Tomorrow, I am going for a deadlift PR or a tie. I think I'm going for a deadlift PR, um, which will be nice. So I'm definitely filming tomorrow. Also, I'm going for an all-time bench PR. So all-time bench PR, all-time deadlift PR. Today was an all-time squat PR. Then I finished the rest of the week off with just secondaries, and then I start my next block. And that block will be the peaking block because um, then I'm four weeks out from my meet, which is sick. I'm really excited. Um, hype. But I am exhausted right now. So, good session. Um, all these videos will probably be a little shorter just because I don't want to talk so much. Because I'm not going to make talk about tomorrow. And nothing's going to change within a few days, I assume, besides me talking about the actual session. So, the only day I might not film today is my SPD day. Because I filmed the first week and that's a really long day. So, I might not film Tuesday. But I'm definitely filming tomorrow and I'm definitely filming Monday and Thursday, no matter what. So, we'll see how all that goes. But, hope you guys enjoyed. This is a good session. Squat PR, all time. Can't complain. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I have for uh, my RP10 when I go on my meet. Or what do you think I'm going to hit my meet? And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.